from the subreddit Ask Reddit. What's a scam that people think isn't a scam? Supplements or drinks that remove toxins from your body. Your body already does that. That the Better Business Bureau is part of the government and has any power to resolve fraud and other issues, rather than what it is. Which is a private marketing firm. Vision Insurance. It is an eye doctor coupon you pay for in advance to get your one discount to use each year to bring inflated prices back to normal. Send me 50 bucks and I will send you a list of all the scams out there. A lot of bodybuilding supplements and the influencers selling them. Those bingo games that supposedly make you money. When I worked at Taco Bell, two of my managers would always play those kind of games. In order to win you have to pay for currency to use in order to play bingo, they were paying $20 to win $5. Plenty of these super investment guru ads in the internet, if not all, dot. Any guarantee or purchase that ends with unlimited. As Scotty would say in Star Trek you canna break the laws of physics, dot. Nobody believes that I am a Nigerian prince I just want to end poverty by sharing my wealth. The River Street Sweets Company in Savannah, Georgia. Supposedly it's considered the best candy and snacks of the South, but it's all a placebo scam. I worked at the candy-making factory for River Street Sweets and majority of all the gummy candies, chocolate-covered candies, and malt balls aren't actually made by them. Certain things were made in the factory but for the most part they bought in bulk from cheap, lower-recognized candy brands and packaged them off as their own. Give you about 10 to 15 gummies in a container, then charge you $20 for it, and people eat it up. Any of those, this is a six-figure side hustle, things you see online all the time. Subscription models for every app. Diamonds. Apps that are free, but then require a monthly subscription to use. I'd happily pay a one-time $5, $6 for an app instead of a monthly fee. Here's this one simple trick. Hustler University, literally thousands pay $50 a month for a Discord server cause they think Andrew Tate is gonna make them a millionaire or teach them how to not be lonely anymore. Truly is sad how many guys fall for those online guru courses. Many diet plans. Enter your email here to unsubscribe. Those courses that are meant to teach sad lonely dudes to pick up women. Big clothing lab les like H&M, Zara, etc. promoting that they are sustainable. It's called greenwashing and it makes me sick how they use it as a revenue model instead of caring about people and planet. And people believe it too. Losing faith in our future man. That an engagement ring has to be the price of a three-month salary. You know who made that up? A diamond company. Yeah. Your printer refusing to make a black and white copy because the yellow cartridge is empty. No don't shake it to make sure, just trust me, it's empty. Now, go fork 20 buck for a replacement, and maybe I'll let you print once or twice before reminding you that there is not enough INK. Reddit coins. Ticketmaster. Motivational gurus. 8 hot dogs, 6 buns FML. Most of the health food supplement industry. It's all just clever marketing. For example a superfood or anything that claims health benefits that hasn't been FDA approved. Remember when goji berries were all the rage in the early 2000s. The ancient berry from the Orient with medicinal properties, yeah things like that are a huge scam. Paycheck advance companies. Haven't been there myself but I watched a friend go through misery because of it. Health care being tied to employment. Social media videos or reals where the video actually shows an incorrect thing or has someone said inaccurately. Electricians don't tell you this one trick. They don't tell you that because it is either wrong or dangerous. The publisher doesn't care how accurate it is, but all the responses telling them increases their engagement, either feeding the value of their profile so they sell it later or feeding their ego as to how many likes or comments they received. 
pretty much anything virtual you buy with real money on social media. Ahamaham Reddit Coins MLMs, Essential Oils and Canon Often the exact same person being scammed three times. Claw Machines Literally a money trap. U.S. Healthcare System Scientology Mega churches, anything influencers promote, casinos. Multi level marketing companies, aka Mway, Advocare, Shockley, Pampered Chef, Tupperware, etc. According to a report that studied the business models of 350 MLM companies in the United States, published on the Federal Trade Commission's website, at least 99% of people who join MLM companies lose money. Self improvement seminars. How to take six steps in 10 steps. Homeopathy. Edit, wow never have I had a single word post blow up like this, and my first award to boot. Thank you kind anonymous redditor. Bottled water. Most bottled water is municipal water that has been filtered to remove harmless minerals. Video game microtransactions. For-profit health care and insurance. Tax cuts to stimulate growth. The US nuclear deterrent. Funerals. Recycling plastics. Edit, I guess people are right that it's technically a fraud. I suppose the scam is just plastic. Majority of cryptocurrencies. Multi-level marketing or network marketing. You know what else has multiple levels and relies on using your network to recruit people. Pyramid schemes. This particular scheme just has some extra elements of preying on specific groups of vulnerable people with cult tactics. Slot machines. House always wins. Chiropractors presenting themselves as medical professionals. Expensive marriage celebrations. The financial tic-tic influences. I don't trust them. Invest in this bond or stock and you'll get a great return. Okay. How? Why? When? Proof? Priests, pastors, barbers and those who claim that they have the ability to heal people. Life coaching. Most weight loss and anti-aging products. Testosterone pills. Testosterone is not absorbed orally. Weight loss programs like Weight Watchers, Slimming World, etc. If these programs were successful people wouldn't have to continually go back to them and a lot of the branded foods are just artificial shit with no benefit bar being low in fat. Likewise with detox teas, drinks and supplements that are just misleading in what they claim they can do. The Diamond Industry Getting the new iPhone every year. No, I don't mean upgrading from the iPhone 3 to the 11 is a waste. Upgrading from the 10 to the 11, when you upgraded from the 9 last year is a waste. Boneless wings. They are selling us chicken nuggets. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Yet we all just keep living this big lie. Slot machines. When you go to Vegas and it says, 95% payback. That means over time you will lose a lot of money. Payback 100% equals you break even, won't see this. Payback 100.1% .1 equals you win, won't see this. Payback 99.9% .9 or less, equals you lose. While I'm on it, retail, sales. 70% off means nothing unless you know how much it was marked up. Without that knowledge you have zero reference point to know if you are getting a good or bad deal. 